The capstone experience for me has been somewhat of a challenging one because it kind of challenged me to look at things in a new perspective. For me, I've always been the type to just do something and, and that was that, but now I have to, I do things and then I have to think about why I did it and what it meant to me and what inspired me to do what I do. And for me, it kind of was a way of, in a way, looking back. So there was a bit of nostalgia there, you know, going back and say, oh, I remember this performance, I remember this show, I remember what I was thinking when I did that, I remember what that meant to me. When actu in actuality, nowadays, we do a show and we just put it behind us, you know, oh, we did this show, it's over, it's done with, but to actually go back and think, it's a bit challenging for me. Before coming to the first day of class, I didn't really know what to expect. But as one of my final Wayne State Theatre classes, this has really shown me a lot of what I want for myself and my own theatre career. And it's actually taught me a lot about myself because we had to do so much personal research on who we are, especially the journals that we did every week. It really just kind of opened up my eyes and I really had to think about, okay, what do I want to do with this degree? And for me, it was really eye-opening because I had actually started this degree in 2005 and this is actually my second go because in between my the beginning of my theater career I had uh, transferred to Western Michigan to get my degree in French. So after already having graduated with that degree I came back and kind of went into it with a different perspective and I kind of have learned how I want to incorporate my two biggest passions in my life in this class through the journals and just various other exercises that we've done. Hello neighbors, finally, after four years, I am graduating from Wayne State, and honestly, this is one of the greatest feelings I've ever had. My aha moment, it happened a few times when I was over in Moscow. I think one of the big ones was watching students of the Moscow Art Theater when they put on their A2s for us, just watching like the flexibility and freedom that they had. It was honestly really inspiring, and it made me like look at um, a lot of what we do over here and what I've done personally. I'm like, I am really not on that level. Like, I was just absolutely blown away. And it was just seeing, like, how they live their art as opposed to, like, art being something that they do. Like, we um, go on stage, we do our play, we do our rehearsals, and we learn our lines, but we, like, leave it at that. But then they're, like, breathing it in, they're soaking it in every hour, every minute of every day. Discover that teaching is honestly what I want to do. I want to teach drama whether it's at a um, high school level or a middle school level. I'm going to do a pose basically in a chair and everyone is going to have their back turned. I'll call on someone, they're going to come up, examine you for five seconds, then take your place in the chair and try to duplicate your pose exactly. All right, before I launch into this next song, I want to um, share something with all of you out there. It's from my heart and I hope that it resonates with all of you out there. My first production, I was in Ah Wilderness. It was directed by Dr. James Thomas, and I played an eight-year-old boy. Now, you might not think I could play an eight-year-old boy, but I completely can. I'm very short. The day before we opened, I got one note, and it said, Tommy. That was my name, Tommy. Great energy. I'm so glad that you opened the show. In that show, I probably had six lines, but it was the most important six lines any person could ever have, believe me. Over the years, I was in quite a few productions. I was very lucky and very blessed in the program. I was in many mu musicals. I was in Godspell. I was in Greece somewhere. I was in The Boyfriend. I have to tell you that being in the back of a chorus has probably the most merit out of any role that you could have. But I didn't do anything! I'm 
Well, Mary and I were talking about death, and I was wondering if we would all still be friends after we died. I mean, I know I could have just let it happen naturally, but who knows if we would still be friends later. You know, I knew that. I couldn't take that risk. So I killed Betty. Well, it's kind of weird because she was the last one to get here. <laughs> when I first started at Wayne State, I, I came in, you know, acting. Actor. I'm an actor. That's what I do. I'm a performer. I act. Uh, and, and then the, the more I... I went on in my, my career here, my educational career here at Wayne State, uh, the more I did, the more things I got into, the more things that I got involved with that were not necessarily acting. Um, and and it, it broadened my horizon. So as an actor, um, as an actor, when you get to a question mark like this, what you're probably going to do, or a question mark, exclamation point period, what you're probably going to do is stop. You can take a breath there. Right, if this were music, this could be thought of as like a rest, maybe like a court rest. My, my idea of theater is just basically anything that you would see on Broadway. Like that was it, the big flashy shows. Broadway, that was theater. And that's where I thought, oh, that's, that's where you go to do theater. Right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to this school, I'm gonna get this degree, I'm gonna be this great performer, and then I'm gonna go to Broadway and everyone's gonna love me because I'm gonna be famous and awesome. Um, but as I progressed and went on, I, I, the theater that I found myself enjoying more and more was the theater that was just like the smaller theater, the intimate theater, the, the, you know, there's not that great of, the set's like a chair maybe, you know, the costumes, are, you know, it's, it's not that elaborate, and it, and it's just about these people and how they relate to each other and the story that's involved with them, and then how that story then can maybe relate to us. That's the kind of theater that, that has, has caught my eye, and that's, that's what drives me, just what's, what's human. I have a big imagination. When I was a child, my father was home a lot taking care of my mother who has MS. So he was very entertaining. He would always uh, be teaching us stories about history and telling us stories about traveling the world through uh, you know, his instrumental capabilities, playing the guitar or through his artwork. So naturally, um, as a teenager, I picked up writing and creating and painting. And I remember also playing in front of the camera a lot. But with our limited resources, I never would have thought um, a decades later that I would be getting a BA in theater. After I got out of high school, I actually toured, the, toured Europe with the Army. And going through those beautiful countries, it really influenced me to further my education in art. Also, I have uh, two young boys who I take care of. They're my children, and they definitely influenced me to keep creating. I'm very sorry. We're unable to figure out his diagnosis. And theater really inspires me to connect with people on a whole different level. For example, um, I actually joined a speakers bureau on domestic violence with ideas to implement theater as educational tools on abuse. When I first came to Wayne State University, I really only seen a very narrow path that I had to follow. But now that I'm finishing up, I can take in whole landscapes. I mean, the possibilities are truly endless. I woke up one night walking to boarding house screaming. Just crying the ghost of another woman who was missing what I was missing. I wanted to jump out of my bones and be done with myself. The stories that I feel that I need to tell as a theater artist with this, this new passion of uh, playwriting seems to be one of a historical content. I love history. Another large milestone for me, I think, in discovering the, the purpose of my theatrical career, when I was enrolled in Wayne State and I was taking a World Performance Studies class with Professor Akukadogo, and we studied a lot about uh, visual artists and performing artists and uh, performance art from all around the globe, stuff that we don't usually get to see in the United States. Just some of the aesthetics behind that art form and the multimedia um, ways of presenting the art form really inspired me to what I'm moving towards nowadays. That I'm working on the concepts for them at least. We're also inspired uh, not only from Aku's class but from Shows that we've seen here on the Bonstell stage, such as Comedy of Errors. So much 
What is it about her that parts the waters? What is it about her that turns me pale? Something in her hair instructing where to touch. I'm currently working on writing plays, uh, the focus on uh, multimedia being a key aspect in the performance. Because I believe this is the future of theatre. I believe that's what we're moving towards.